hello to all my artsy friends. I have some freaky, chicy Dollar Tree DIYs for you. These are made with Dollar Tree items, so they're super cheap and so fun because they have that shabby chic look with a spooky spin. And stay tuned to the end because I have a fun and easy treat just for you. Let's get started with a creepy wreath. Here are the items that I found at Dollar Tree. This video is part of a collab with Christy Creates and White Sparrow Living. There will be a whole playlist with DIYs that are chic for cheap. So make sure to check out the link in my description box below this video. The ends of the feathery boa have loops, so I used some hot glue to secure the boa to the floral ring. Next, I took the second boa and did the same thing as I had done with the first one. If you wanted the boas to go all the way around, a third boa would have been perfect, but I have a different plan for this wreath. I took the black felt and trimmed it into strips. Then I wrapped and hot glued this into the empty spot on that floral ring. I added a gingham bow and some sticky letters. You can secure these better with some glue if you need to. And then I added the scary eyes. Make sure to glue those eyes onto the floral ring in the back behind the feathers because otherwise the feathers will move around and so will the eyes. So if you want them to stick in the same place, just make sure to get them onto that floral ring. Okay, this next project is super shabby chicy. I found these mirrors at Dollar Tree and couldn't decide if I wanted black or white, so I just got both. I trimmed out this contact paper from Dollar Tree to fit right over the mirror. Hey, if you're stopping by my channel for the first time, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your love and support on Artsy Cupcake. My name is Maria, and my passion is sharing ways to get creative in your home. I try to make my DIYs as simple as possible because I don't want anyone to be intimidated to bust out a paintbrush or a saw to make something beautiful. If you love home decor and DIY inspiration, and you're as obsessed with Dollar Tree as I am, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you'll know when my next video goes up. Next, I trimmed out some spooky skulls, and I will have these on my blog, artsycupcake.com, just in case you want to make these for yourself. I used a little Mod Podge to stick down the design. Then I used some black paint to give this a distressed look. I decided to give the frame some paint to make them look really old, like they're from the Victorian period. And then for some contrast of the spooky with the shabby chic, I added a pretty gingham bow. Adding this bow just makes it look a little bit off and this makes it even more creepy.
Next, we will be making a crow candle holder. I found this set of two doilies at Dollar Tree. I started by wrapping that doily around a mason jar and securing it with hot glue. Then I trimmed the top and bottom edges and secured those with hot glue. I decided to add the gingham ribbon around the top edge and then I attached the bow. I cut out this image of a crow and attached it with some hot glue. I used the paint to make this look aged and the black paint also helped to blend the crow into the lace. Okay, last I have a super fast Halloween treat to show you. It's just a couple of simple steps. First, I melted some white chocolate. Just go in 30 second increments in the microwave and you wanna stir as you go along. Once it's completely melted, add some chow mein noodles until the consistency looks right. You want this a little bit chunky and not too liquidy. You can add marshmallows in here too if you wanted. I added a little bit of oil just so it was slightly easier to work with because those white chocolate chips get very sticky. Then you just shape them into ghosts on some parchment paper. And then add those little googly eyes. Once they harden, they are ready to eat. liked these Dollar Tree DIYs, I have a whole playlist filled with more inspiration right over here. And there's a little subscribe button right over here too. So make sure to click on that so you'll know when my next DIY goes up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.